welcome back in tech devs to you and in this video i'm going to give you and share you some tricks and tips for more game development and also i'm going to tell you that uh, some basic mistake whatever you do in your whole life of mobile game development so as a beginner or even if you are doing first time of mobile game development in a real game it's hard to understand that which which type of error in future it can become what you need to be ready for and it is simple so i'm going to share my tips and tricks that it will help you to build up your game the first we are targeting for now is android okay i'm going with android and next i will try to in next video i try to explain the hours so first for mobile game development and in for android uh, sector the first biggest mistake you do by is you don't you know focus in a right engine as you know that epic every month you know or every three months to four months under they release a new version okay like new and new 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 like 5.1 5.2 5.3 5.4 so that is you know they release tons of version of engine so whatever you do that you always try to go to the updated version that you even don't need for example in mobile it's currently the an nanite it's not suitable if you in a 5.4 the nanite is the most stable right now so for using that feature you are basically go to the upper or higher version that you even you don't need because most of devices now doesn't support nanite yet because it's a very it's need very high config mobile okay so that is the thing the first you need to decide that what feature you need to in your game that and which version of engine you are going to use that engine have that enough feature that you don't need to switch for next 3 to 4 months or for a year then after the year you can decide to move to in a second engine or not rather because i all also see still see that there's tons of companies still using very old engine kind of like if i give you example of pubg they're still using unreal engine 4.18 which is really really very old version so like that so if you think that it's needed at that point you should change otherwise you not should uh, change the engine or always don't go with the updated engine version okay so that is the my first suggestion the second thing is the second mistake you do on choosing the game assets okay you know in epic there's millions of i guess assets that are available for now like the seven years ago there's a not tons of asset was available but right now it's there's a more and more assets are available and more are even upcoming epic give every month lots of free assets you should collect them also so now about the asset selecting whatever mistake you do that you just see the asset you doesn't read the technical documents okay the technical documents are really very important for example i want to use this uh and make sure i'm not promoting this asset pack i'm just showing because this is a good pack so i'm just showing i'm not promoting for example i want to make a tropical scene so for that i need a tropical asset pack so i'm just saying that oh okay this quality is really good but i didn't see or i didn't look at the supported platform i didn't check at the engine version or i didn't read the technical document so you should do that what first check the assets that you need sorry for give a cut in the video so as i'm talking about the first you need to properly check the asset that you actually need those asset or not or even is this asset pack is enough for you or you need multiple more asset pack so make sure that if the asset provider providing something like this it's called a uh, shader quality or shader pass so as you can see only that pass it's showing it's showing that how the polygons are displaying okay so you can eventually can see that how everything will be work and properly and make sure 90 percent to 100 percent i will say the 90 percent of epic developer what they do that they show you the pc render version make sure those are pc render version those are not your platform that you're targeted for example you're targeting for android so it's not for the android you know there it's not android render it's the pc render so you need to make sure that whatever looking it's not, it not going to be 100 percent same as the render so you need to keep it in mind with that second what you need to check is the engine supported version check that how the developers are updating their project as you can see this developer providing from very old version to very lastest version if you see that the developers not providing enough engine for example the updated version are very old you not should be used that because in the future maybe the developers uh, you know the 
as a developer is not focusing on the his account and he's not updating continuously otherwise in the future you'll be faced problem okay there can be shader or compile or issue or can become collisions or can be run or texture there's tons of issue can become number three is basically checking the platform you can see it by default there's a two type of icon show if you see these two things it's one is window 32 bit and one is window 64 bit make sure if the any assets will support a window 32 bit it's usually supports on 64 bit okay but if there's only 64 bit usually some of asset doesn't support 32 bits so you need to keep it mind second you can see it's give others and it's give that oculus and even it's give linux and mac os and make sure oculus and android are pretty same they use the same android shader compile but in android we use the multi texture format which is astc dxdc and etc2 but for the vr it's just use astc so it can be some different but if it's supporting oculus so it's really very goodly optimized for the uh, stuff so you can use that the last you can read you need to read his, which is the basically number of matches collisions like how the collisions are the gift and the vertices count as you can see it's a uh, minimum is 91 to 5666 which is tolerable a significant vertices for the assets okay also the, it's they are providing the billboards and instance which is really cool also make sure the texture resolution like you can you need to uh, understand that how much texture resolution you need for your game otherwise it's going to be a very problematic mac not tested yet so most of developers doesn't taste their asset playing in a mac usually you know that mac is a very costly stuff and usually developers don't do that develop most of this use windows so whatever i'm not uh, telling that he is uh, <laughs> poor i'm saying that most of developers do that even i also uploaded my asset packs but i don't taste that in a mac even i have in a mac but that is the thing you know we because mac is some harder to navigate and when there's tons of issue come in mac that's why so let me now uh, that is the uh, the selecting asset pack now let me show you the creating a project we already discussed lots of stuff about the project selecting uh even the engine selecting and asset stuff like how you need to choose them now let's start creating a project so in my case or on my you know favorite engine for now is the 5.2 and 5.4.2 which is those are both are really great engine you can use both of them there's no issue so for, for currently this tutorial purpose, I'm going to use the last engine version, which is 5.4.2. Now you will be telling me, that, bro, you are giving us uh, the knowledge of that you not should go updated version because right now I need a feature that which is only in 5.4, which is basically motion matching type of stuff. Also, I'm going to uh, showcase the 5.4 features that like how it's performing and I need to understand that how the export are work at and the shaders issue or what is the issue coming in 5.4. I need to know that. So that's I'm going to use this thing. It's a kind of like just in purpose. Okay, because I always test all of the engine like how the their engine is going to work. Whenever you do all the test tests, you will be know that, okay, this engine I can use for this project or this. Otherwise, in the future, when you're going to choose a big project, it's going to be become problem for you. So I'm going to use Forna 5.4.2, which is the lastest engine version for Unreal Engine currently. And maybe it can be updated in later as well. Okay, now the currently the engine is loading. As is the usual, I can suggest to you that what you need to do, just wait. <laughs> Nothing else you can do. Let's wait for time. Let's uh, open the engine. Okay, the first thing, let's start creating the folder. So some of them you do mistake, you go to a random folder, start mapping. I will suggest you to give right this maps. So which is basically why I write A because now whenever you add any folder, it always the A basically and really can calculate this as a filter as so A, B, C, D. So because I write it uh, A and then I give dash maps. So I know that it's a maps and it's a A folder. So it always being chalk. Okay. So at the A map folder, I'm going to start with a level. So at the level, I'm going to give it the map one. Okay, you can just give it map. Now you have you will find a basic a blank uh, map, which is basically really blank. And first, I'm going to set it a default loadout because I think there's something has been changed at here. That's why. So this is the default loadout of Unreal Engine uh, five. Okay. Now at in the default loadout, I'm going to set. I'm just going to set a, a landscape okay and now you can do anything whatever you want but i'm going to very give very small because i really don't need too much larger area the two by two is really enough for the what i want to create actually even if it's a bigger than i want so simply just create it 
now uh, for the basic lighting system you can add a basic a directional light which is help you to see the environments set it to more well and change the lux to 3 and lastly we need to add a engine sky stuff so go to your engine if you don't have that you can enable from here on the filter section engine engine sky and here bp engine sky and just connect it with your directional light system and it's going to be work lastly we need a reflection of the light so sky light system which is going to be balance our light system in the environment so which is this one is cool and give a build so by giving a build you are basically rendering and targeting and telling that okay this is my level this is going to be the lights and feature whatever as it is going to be uh, designed because you already set it to move well so it's going to be dynamic but uh, for some basic light and uh, the basic render and reflection and the cache data it will be help you to do this stuff so just give it like this okay and it will be really cool and make sure uh, your engine is not uh, your epic is not closed so i'm just keeping at the left side panel okay i have this simple thing 